Hello, I'm Beth Wagner, physical therapist. In this video, I'm going to take you through a series of bridge exercises for hip strengthening. Now, the goal of this video is to address pain in the low back and hips. While there are many potential different causes of low back pain and pain throughout the hips and pelvis, one of the most common causes is an imbalance between tightness in the hip flexors and the low back and weakness in the abdominals and the gluteal muscles. This video focuses specifically on gluteal strengthening using a variety of bridge exercises. When performed correctly, bridges not only strengthen gluteal muscles, but they help to strengthen the abdominal muscles and lengthen or stretch tight hip flexors and low back muscles. For best results, I recommend doing these exercises three days a week. It usually takes about four to six weeks of consistent performance of these exercises to start seeing significant results. But you might notice a difference sooner, depending on your body and your condition. Now, with these exercises, we want to feel activation in the gluteal muscles, deep in the buttocks. We also want to feel activation of muscles in the lower abdominal area and you might feel muscle soreness a couple days afterward. But with continued practice, that muscle soreness will dissipate, and instead you'll be feeling stronger and better able to do all of your activities. At no point in time should these exercises cause low back pain. If you feel any pain, especially sharp, shooting, stabbing, burning pain, or any numbness and tingling, then stop right away. Also, the way I'm instructing this bridge series, we want minimal activation of the hamstring muscles, the muscles in the back of the thigh. And definitely, we don't want cramping in those muscles. So if you've done bridges before and you've experienced cramping or tiredness, fatigue in the hamstrings, I'm going to show you a couple ways to minimize that in order to focus all of the strengthening in the gluteal muscles and the abdominals. For best results, perform these exercises barefoot or with a non-slip shoe on a surface that won't slide. Also, have minimal or no pillow support. Since we'll be lifting the hips, it might cause a little bit of a kink in the neck if your head is elevated. So I'll be demonstrating these exercises without any pillow support. All right, start lying down with your feet about hips distance apart, your knees bent at a comfortable distance. You'll find if you try this exercise with your feet too far out or too close to your hips, it won't be very comfortable. So with some practice, you'll find the right position that works best for you. All right, keep your knees about hips distance apart and your feet about hips distance apart. Let your arms rest comfor comfortably by your side. We want to engage the lower abdominal muscles by pulling your belly button in toward your spine, firming up that area in your lower abdominals. Next, tighten your glute muscles in the base of your buttocks. With your abs firm, your glutes engaged, on your exhale, lift the hips up in the air. Lift just as high up as you feel comfortable going, pause, and then slowly lower, keeping your abs pulled in. Not allowing your back to arch, but keeping your spine neutral. And then rest at the bottom. Again, engage the abs, firm up your glutes, exhale, lift. Lift your hips up as high as you can go. Pause and lower. And release. Inhale when you're resting and Firm up the muscles and the abs and glutes. Exhale, lift the hips. Pause at the top as high as you feel comfortable going and then lower down. Now, if you start to feel your hamstrings engage back here, try pressing out a little bit with your feet. If you're on a slippery surface, your hamstrings will engage to keep your feet from sliding out. With my shoes on this surface, my feet won't slip. So I can press my feet out a little bit to disengage my hamstrings. Okay, continue the basic bridge, 20 repetitions. Now we'll progress to a bridge march. Engage the abs and the glutes. Lift the hips on an exhale. Now in this position, hold and continue breathing normally, inhaling and exhaling. 
Now we'll shift the weight onto the left leg. Keep your hips level. Lift your right foot just an inch or so off the surface and then put it back down again. And then shift your weight to the right leg. Lift your left leg just an inch off the surface and put it back down again. Shift your weight back to the middle and then lower your hips. Relax. Inhale to start and exhale. Abs and glutes engaged, lift the hips. Shift your weight to the left leg, lift right leg up an inch, put it back down. Shift the weight to the right leg, lift the left leg an inch and put it back down. Go back to the center and lower. When you first start the bridge march, I recommend lowering after one repetition of the left and the right march. If you're able to do this without letting your hips sink when the leg is lifted, then begin to add more repetitions before taking a rest. So I'll demonstrate that. Abs and glutes engaged, exhale, lift the hips. Shift the weight to the right, lift the left leg and lower. Shift to the left, right leg up and lower. Now, if you can keep your hips level without letting your hips sink, you can keep them at the same height. Continue alternating. Shift your weight to the right, lift the left leg. Shift the left weight to the left, lift the right leg, and back down. Shift to the right, lift the left leg, and lower. Shift to the left, right leg up, and lower. Continue alternating the march as many repetitions as you can perform while keeping your hips level. Again, you shouldn't feel any back pain or cramping in your hamstrings. Continue 20 repetitions of the bridge march. Once you're able to do 20 repetitions of the bridge march in a row without needing a rest break, then progress to the leg extension. Abs and glutes engaged. Exhale, lift the hips. Shift the weight to over to the right foot and straighten the left leg. Bring it back in and lower. Shift the weight to the left leg, extend the right leg, bring it back in and lower. And then lower your bridge. Once you're able to do one repetition on each side and keep your hips level, then try adding more repetitions between a rest break. Abs and glutes engaged, exhale, lift your hips and shift your weight to the right, extend the left, bring it back in and shift your weight to the left, extend the right, bring it back in. Continue shifting your weight and lifting the leg. Shift your weight, lift the leg, and lower. Continue alternating left and right sides as long as you're able to keep your hips level. Rest as you need to. Perform a total of 20 repetitions. The next bridge option is a bridge press. Place a small ball or a rolled up towel between your knees. Have your feet and your knees about hips distance apart and gently squeeze the ball, just enough to hold it in place so that it doesn't fall. And engage the abs and the glutes. Exhale, lift up into your bridge. Now squeeze the ball together and release just enough to hold tension on the ball and then lower and relax. Abs and glutes engaged. Exhale, lift your hips, squeeze the ball together. Hold for about two to three seconds and then relax. So you have just enough tension to hold the ball between your knees and then lower. Now, if that feels comfortable for you, and you feel like you could perform multiple repetitions without a rest break, that's the next progression. So abs and glutes engaged. Exhale, lift into the bridge and squeeze the ball. Hold, two, three, and release. And squeeze again. Hold, two, three, and release. Exhale, squeeze, two, three, and release. Again, exhale, squeeze, 
two, three, and release. Be sure you're continuing to keep your abs engaged and your glutes engaged. When you're fatigued or your hips start to drop, then go ahead and lower and rest. Perform 20 repetitions of the squeeze. Okay, now we'll move on to a bridge press. Okay, using a TheraBand loop, bring it around your knees. If this is the first time you're performing this exercise, choose light resistance band. Gradually work up in level of resistance as you're able. Okay, placing your feet and your knees about hips distance apart, that'll put a little bit of tension on the band to hold your knees in that position. Glutes and abs engaged, exhale, lift into the bridge. And now press out against the band a couple of inches. Hold, couple seconds, Come back slowly so that your knees are about hips distance apart, and then lower and rest. All right, let's repeat that. Abs and glutes engaged, exhale, lift the hips. And now press out against the band, two, three, and back to the center. Now, if you're able to do that and keep your hips level, then let's continue repetitions here. Exhale, press out, two, three, and come back to the center, keeping enough tension on the band for your knees to be in line with your hips. Exhale, press out, two, three, and slowly bring your knees back in, maintaining tension on the band, maintaining your position of knees, hips distance apart. Press out, two, three, and back to the center. Exhale, press out, two, three, and return to the center. Now rest when you need to, lowering out of the bridge. Perform 20 repetitions total of the bridge press. Now the last progression, certainly the toughest, is one leg bridge. So we'll start with one foot slightly up in the air, Again, pull your abs in, make sure your glutes are engaged, and now we're gonna press up into a bridge. Pause and lower. Exhale, lift, pause and lower. Exhale, lift, pause and lower. Move at a slow controlled pace on the lift and on the lowering. Perform as many repetitions as you can until you fatigue on one side and then switch sides. Press the other foot down into the ground, lift the leg, engage the abs and the glutes, and press up as you exhale and lower. And exhale, press up, pause, and lower. Exhale, press up, pause, and lower. Okay. Continue 20 repetitions on each side. Alternate the left and right side as you need to because one leg will fatigue. And as you become stronger and stronger, you'll be able to do more repetitions before you need a rest break and before you need to switch sides. Finally, a progression with all of these exercises would be to move from having your hands here to your hands pointed up toward the ceiling. It's very normal to compensate a little bit for balance and strength by pressing your arms into the table. Everybody does it. As you feel confident in your strength, as your conditioning improves, try these bridges with your arms up in the air, fingers to the ceiling. So feet and knees, hips distance apart. I'll engage my abdominals, engage my glutes, and lift my hips up pause, and lower. So that's the standard bridge. Now we'll do a bridge march. Abs and glutes engaged, lift up, exhale, and lift the left leg back to the center, right leg back to the center, and lower. Now I'll show you the leg extension. 
abs and glutes firm, exhale, lift, and shift weight to the right leg, extend the left, back to the center, shift to the left, extend the right leg, back to the center, and lower. Now I've posted many other videos addressing low back pain, hip pain, and other topics that are similar to this, but with different focuses. Check out the links in the description below for some of those videos. For more exercises to support and add on to the exercises in this video. I hope you find these exercises helpful to decrease pain in your low back and improve strength in your gluteal muscles and abdominals. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm able. Here's to your healing, health, and happiness. Have a fantastic day.